Hey guys, it's Flippin' Friday. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a previous subscriber, I'm going to go through here what I sold on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. So stick around to see what I sold this week. Hi guys, like I said, my name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real. Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, all kinds of places. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, I'm a volleyball player, and I love Disney. So I usually go through on these Friday videos every Friday and I let you know what I sold on these four platforms. Um, I guess that's where I sell the most, so I just go ahead and go through those. I will say that Marketplace and Mercari were pretty slow for me this week um, compared to what they have been before. Actually, Poshmark was really slow, like on Valentine's Day and Monday. And so I ended up running, not running a sale because you can't do that on Poshmark, which I wish you could. But um, I went through my closet and I offered like 30% off with discounted shipping on everything, at least that had a like. And so thankfully that helped me get them some things going and I seemed like it was better after that. But um, let's just go ahead and get started. So I'll start with Mercari first. I did sell this Coach Chelsea Multicolor Designer Purse. This was from a thread up coach box that I got. When I actually opened it, I thought it was going to be pretty crappy um, because a lot of the styles were pretty old, but turns out it was okay, I guess. I mean, I priced the items according to what comps were and four of the five sold super quickly. So this sold for $30 on Mercari. Next, I sold this Soul Naturalizer Black Wedge Boots. These I actually only had for a couple of hours and someone sent me an offer of $30. So I went ahead and accepted that. And then I sold these Doc Martin leather lace-up boots. These were men's, I believe, size six. I got them at the thrift store, um, I think in the women's section. But I looked up the style number and they were a men's. They listed and were sold in a day for $56. And then yesterday I sold these Nike skateboard high dunk sneakers. These were a men's shoe size 13. They were pretty worn and kind of beat up. I tried to clean them up a little bit, but I didn't really want to put too much time into them because I've got so much stuff to do. And they sold for $36 still within a minute. So um, the nice thing about Mercari is people can save their searches. So for me, like if I'm looking for something in particular, say a Disney Magic Kingdom sweatshirt, I can put that in and every time a new one gets listed that has that in the title or the keyword, it will give me a notification. So I think that's what happened with these shoes because with them um, selling so quickly like that, I just feel like someone had a saved search. But anyway, I was happy that they moved, obviously, in under a minute. Um, Facebook Marketplace, I sold a Coach pink brown leather buckle zipper on wallet, again, from that Thread Up Rescue box. That sold for $20. And then I sold these Sperry Angelfish Metallic Slip-On Shoes. These were actually pretty... Okay, I was going to say ugly, but whatever. To me, I would not wear them. They came in a thread up shoe rescue box. In that rescue box, I've got some great shoes. Then I got some like so-so uh, shoes, which was what these ones were. They were from 2013. Not a trendy style. Kind of worn, kind of beat up. I listed them for 10. Someone bought them. So I was able to just ship those out and they sold within an hour. I also sold um, this Under Armour Red Black Full Zip hoodie. This was my son's. Boy size extra large. Sold for $13.00. And then last night I saw this Lululemon gray rush hour long sleeve top. I think I've had this for about two weeks and I had it listed for 35. It told me I had this many views, this many saves. Do you want to lower the price? So I lowered it down to $31 and someone bought it at that price. So that's it for marketplace. Let's go into eBay. We'll save Poshmark for last because I think that was the most sales. Although eBay, I might've made more money. I'm not sure. I don't really track that very often. Um, I use QuickBooks for everything and so on my app I just will go in there and I can mark income, expenses, and all of that and so it just keeps track for me. Um, sometimes I think it'd be cool to know the different platforms and how they're doing and I used to keep track of that separately but it's a lot of extra work and I just don't want to do it. <laughs> it doesn't affect my business at all. Like it could possibly make it better I guess if I really want to like get in there with the data, but this is not my like way of surviving. So just for fun. 
The first thing I sold on eBay was this Catherine's black white stripe rose button up top. This was in a size 2X. Had this for a couple of weeks and it sold for $20. If you are liking this video, I will say if you can please push that like button down below, it really helps with the algorithm. I'm getting close to 400 subscribers on my channel, so that's very exciting. If you haven't subscribed and like this content, just push that little subscribe button with the bell next to it, and I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Um, next was a pair of New, men's, New Balance Men's Minimus Blue 1690 Lightweight Running Shoes. These sold for $32 in about a week. And then I sold the Zara Women's orange paper bag waist skirt. This sold for $20. Kind of surprised it was not getting any attention on Poshmark. I don't really hardly ever pick up Zara. And um, I don't know. I think I got this thinking it was cute, trendy style. It was cheap. I mean, it still sold for $20, so that's fine. It just took a while. Next was a Torrid light blue floral Georgette tank top in a size 2X, and this sold for $15. And then I sold these Dansko Black Olivia slip-on clogs. I actually had these for quite a while. They were decently worn. Um, anymore, when I pick up dance goes, I'm not really picking up things that are too worn. These weren't the classic like nursing style, though. They were a little bit of a different style. Um, and they offered me $21, so I went ahead and took that. And then I sold this vintage men's Pepsi pullover sweatshirt. I actually had this for myself for a little bit because Pepsi is my favorite drink and I'm obsessed. And um, I don't know. I just didn't wear it very much. And it was like extremely oversized for me. It was almost like to the point where it wasn't cute oversized, but like way too oversized. So I sold it and it sold, got lots of attention right away and it sold for $28. Next was a Free People Movement Dark Red Amanda Cutout Tank Top in a size medium. And that sold for $20.88. That's my full asking price. And then I sold this Eddie Bauer Men's Flannel Plaid Long Sleeve Button Up Shirt. It was in a size XXL. So sometimes I'll pick up Eddie Bauer if it's in the larger sizes like that or if it has um, tall with it. Those sizes are a little bit harder to find, so a little bit more desirable. And that sold for $22.50. I sold this Johnny Was kimono very quickly. It was multicolor embroidered, um, very cute, size large, sold for $75. I had lots of watchers interest right away. I got some low offers. I almost was thinking maybe I want to get a hundred and then someone sent me 75 like within a couple days. I'm like, oh my gosh, take it. I paid like $7 for it at Salvation Army. Next was a Nike Pro multicolor tie-dye v-neck tank top. This was in a size small and it sold for $16. And then I sold another Catherine shirt. This one was navy blue with a really cute lemon print on it. This one was in a size $18.20 and that sold for my full asking price of $25.88. I sold this Eddie Bauer teal filled down, I didn't say that right, teal down filled puffer coat. This was in a size 2X. This sold for $40. I would probably still get any kind of down filled coats. Um, people are still selling them. We finally snapped out of our cold streak here in Iowa. It was literally negative 25 last week, so that was amazing. Um, last week, I mean, yesterday it was sunny and 17 out. I was going to Bible study and my son walked out and he said, Mom, it's actually pretty nice out here. And I'm like, oh, let me look at the weather. I was like, oh, 17. <laughs> so like 17 felt great to us, which is sad. But anyway, people are still buying winter things, but they're also buying things for summer. So list everything all the time. Uh, next was an Anthropology Akimi and Kin black floral high neck tank top. This sold for $15. Next was a new Anthropology stateside white turtleneck top. This was came in a mystery box I got from Jack Valentine. If you haven't checked him out, I will link his channel down below. Um, him and Ryan have really great videos and very helpful, especially for someone who does not know about fashion like me. Um, and that sold for $15.99. I also sold this Travis Matthews men's golf white short sleeve polo. This actually had a couple of flaws that I didn't notice at the thrift store, so I priced it low and someone offered me $10, so I accepted that. I also sold another flawed item. These were Patagonia drawstring capri crop hiking pants. I think they had a couple paint spots on them. I thought I could get them out at home. I did a little bit of effort into it and they weren't coming out. So someone offered me $13 and I went ahead and took that. I will list almost everything with flaws unless it's really, really bad. Um, people will still buy stuff. Look at this weird like bend in my hair. I played volleyball last night and it was fun, but that's probably what that's from. Okay. Next was a vintage Columbia Girls 90s color block snowsuit. It was a size XXL. 
Honestly, a woman's extra small probably could have worn that. Who knows? Maybe that's what they bought it for. That sold for $45. And then I sold these Nike men's dry fit running drawstring pants. These came in one of my men's thread up rescue boxes. I don't know if that video went out yet. Um, I still have a couple thread up videos like in my phone waiting to be put out. I've been getting so many. So um, this last men's ones was good. It'll probably be out. I'll try to put out maybe tomorrow so I don't have two going in one day. Anyway, those sold for $25. Um, next was a pair of vintage 1960s men's pennies payday overalls. The weird thing was is I found these at Plato's Closet for $10. <laughs> they were like from the, oh, I said the 50 or 60s. Yeah. Anyway, $10. Had them for quite a while. Someone offered me 50 so I went ahead and took that. And then the last thing was these Nine West leather open toe sandals. They were in a size seven. These were from a thread up shoe box and they sold for $13. They weren't worth very much. I know the leather was a little bit worn. So I listed them low price to sell. And yes, actually, I don't think that was the last thing. That was the last thing that was paid, but I think I have a couple of things that have sold, um, before today that just haven't paid yet, which I don't know. Do you guys want to know about those? I guess I'll just look and say, hopefully they pay. Actually, a couple have paid. I haven't marked it shipped yet. Wow. Amazing. Okay, this was another pair of shoes from a thread up shoe box. It was a pair of Mystique Seashell Beach Flip Flops. I don't really know about this brand, but I looked them up and they actually retail for a pretty decent amount. I listed them for $25 and they sold within minutes for $25. So, yay. Next was a pair of Rock Revival Carla Distressed Cuff Skinny Jeans. They were in a size 24, small size. They still sold for $45. And then I sold this Lululemon Black White Luan Static White Mist Power Tank Top. And this sold for $20. I sold a bundle. Can't really do bundles on eBay, but I do offer free shipping on almost everything. So if someone buys more than one thing, um, I'll just ship them together because it's free shipping anyway. So it was two pairs of Evolution and Creation High Waist Leggings. They were um, both sold for $35. I was getting this brand for a short amount of time, but now they're just sitting and not doing that great. And then I saw them at TJ Maxx, so that could be a reason. Um, anyway, sold them both for 35, that's fine. One other thing that I'm waiting for payment on is this um, L, which is I think sold at Kohl's. It's a spring floral handbag. This was in a thread up handbag um, video that I just put out recently, and that sold for $18. So uh, one more, let's go through Poshmark. I think I have a lot. So we're just gonna get into it. Um, first was a pair of free peeper. I can't talk. Ah, it's like early in the morning. I'm trying to get this done again on Fridays. I always take my daughter to volunteer at nine. So I'm trying to get it done. <laughs> free people, mid-rise roller crop skinny jeans, dark wash. These sold for $21. Next was a title nine purple go tunic striped dress. It was in a size medium. This is a great outdoor brand to be looking for. It always sells well for me. And that sold for $32. And then I sold these Cabby Isla Navy Blue Espadrille Wedge Sandals for $25. I actually got those at a um, color tag sale at a store for $0.98. Cents. So that was great. Next was a pair of new Under Armour Storm, Storm Tan Cargo Casual Golf Shorts. These were men's. Got them at a TJ Maxx, yellow tag clearance, I believe, and they sold for $30. And then I sold these Sea Wonder Navy Blue Suede Pumps. These were new. They didn't have tags, but you could tell on the bottom that they had never been worn. And those sold for $40. Next was another coach purse from that Thread Up Rescue Box. It was a Madras Plain Sequin Crossbody Purse. I honestly thought the style was so old, but it sold so quickly for $27. So I'm happy about that. Next was a pair of Paige Edgemont Green Zipper Detail Skinny Jeans. These sold for $30, full asking price. And then I sold this Victoria's Secret bra. It was the very sexy push-up bra, size 34 double D, and that sold for $20. What's crazy is that as I'm starting to see these sales, I just got notifications this morning that they are taking longer than expected. Like there's still major problems with USPS and long deliveries, which sucks, but nothing much you can do about it. Um, this was a pair of Jimmy Choo's Silver Rhinestone Stilettos. They sold for $55 from an offer. I got these in a thread-up designer box. I had them listed, I think, for 80 
comps were kind of all over the place. So this was a good offer that came within a few days. So I did go ahead and accept that. And then I sold this spider pink long sleeve zip up hooded ski jacket. This sold for $20. I sold my last pair of these new Steve Madden Python slip on shoes. This was like a bad purchase from TJ Maxx. Don't know why I got three pair. Not even that great of a brand. I mean, <laughs> anyway, they sold for 18. So probably after fees and everything, I'm probably breaking even with that price, but that's okay. I'm glad that they are gone. Next was a new Bowden Melina, Melina black paper bag waist skirt. It was in a size two. It only sold for $13. I had this for a really long time. I guess, I don't know, maybe it's just not the classic Bowden like cute print or pattern style of things. That's okay. Uh, next was a pair of Athleta Black Mesh Solar Capri Leggings. These were in a size extra small and they sold for $19. And then I sold this Newest Tags Ann Taylor Pink Ruffle Shoulder V-neck Top. This sold for $16. I had this for a super long time. I had this one trip where I picked up tons of Newest Tag Ann Taylor and Loft and it's just sitting. So I'm like hardly ever picking that up anymore unless it's extra cute or larger sizes. And then this was a new with tag C Wonder maroon pullover crew neck sweater. It said Amore on it with a little heart that sold for 14 C Wonder for the clothing. And this had like, it almost looked like a Costco tag or something. So that's probably why. Um, not doing that great anymore. Probably wouldn't pick it up. Um, next was an Oakley men's gray baseball hat. I actually looked around for this forever. I couldn't remember where I put it, but um, most of my stuff is in bins with Ziploc bags and stuff, but this was just in with my men's shoes on a shelf in a different room and it was kind of under some shoes. So thankfully I found it. It sold for $17. And then I sold this Catherine's black no wire bra. It was a size 46 triple D that sold for $13. I think this is getting into, yes, it is. Um, starting with that C wonder top, this is getting into the day where I was sending out the 30% off. So it's going to be some lower sales, but I was really glad to move some inventory. Um, next was a pair of American Eagle high rise shorty distressed shorts size zero sold for $19. I sold this J crew green, green quilted puffer vest. I'm not saying anything right today and I really don't want to edit too much. So, uh, probably won't. Um, that was a size extra small and it sold for $12. The next one was a vintage Napa Valley Rose floral button front skirt. This was in a size 18 and that sold for $14. And then I sold this E Shakti, is that how you say it? It was a navy blue green dress in a size 5X, but it only sold for $16, which I was surprised when I first got it. I thought this would be a great item, a great size. Actually, I've had two of these dresses and they've done horrible for me. I know some people can sell them well, but I can't. My cat's having a sneezing attack. Anyway, yes, I'm glad that it left. Next was a pair of vintage Marc Jacobs shoes. They were pink, like suede kind of material, peep toe. And those sold for $28. And then I sold this Disney Jungle Book um, Monkey Monkey Sleep Shirt. And that sold for $18. I sold a pair of soft surroundings, black wide leg button pants. These were in a size large and those sold for $28. This was a Styx gray world tour band concert tee from 09. I thought it'd be cool and try to get in with the concert tees and the band tees and all of that graphic tees. It's just not selling that great for me unless it's actually something really, I don't know, old or I don't know, just not what works in my closet. That sold anyway for $15. I sold this Montana West leather studded shoulder purse. This actually had a spot for concealed carry. Um, so I make sure I mentioned that in my listing, which I would love to get. Um, we actually talked about getting a gun last year when everything was <laughs> going out of control and, um, I'm home with my kids all day. So we talked about it with my husband, like just for safety, you know, um, but we never got around to it. So I don't know, but I think it's a good idea. <laughs> um, next was a young fabul fabulous and broke tie dye lounge wide pants. These sold for $25. And then I sold a pair of new American Eagle striped paper bag waist pants. These sold for $15. This was another thing that I couldn't find. I swear I've had like five or six things this week where for some reason when I put them away in my bins, I didn't write down where I put them. And I'm searching forever, which sucks. It really sucks. Thankfully, I found these. 
and I could ship them out. And then I sold a pair of Clark's brown leather ankle zip booties. These were actually a really horrible style and I don't know why I got them. They sold for $10. This was a newest tags Cole Haan faux leather jacket. I've had this for freaking ever, over a year from a sale. It sold for $29. It retailed for like $200 or something crazy. Apparently Cole Haan jackets don't do well or I just have issues, I don't know. Anyway, bleh, get out. I sold a pair of Baldwin Slim Boyfriend Andy jeans, mid-rise 26, these sold for $28. I sold this boys Harley Davidson motorcycle jacket in size 10, sold for $18. I sold these Anthropology Pilcro in the letterpress hyphen shorts in a size 31, those sold for $20. And then there was this J Crew Pop Art sleeveless silk tank. This was in a size double zero, $13, not picking up hardly any J Crew anymore. I sold this Moschino belt, Moschino, how do you say that? Brown leather, let's love each other, it said on the buckle, and that sold for $56. This was a pair of new Torrid heels, platform suede pumps, 12 and a half wide. They did have some scuffs on them, came from a thread up rescue box, sold for $19. This was an Anthropo Anthropology Akimian Ken swing metallic top. This was in a size small and it sold for $18. Um, next was an Everlane blue corduroy dress shirt. It was in a size four and that sold for $35. I sold this Free People cable knit chunky button neck sweater. That sold for $20. Next was a Cabby Treasure Paisley midi dress with pockets size eight. That sold for $22. And then I sold this Harley Davidson black embellished sheer top. I got this new with tags at a discount store. Sold for $25. I sold this Anthropology Postmark Squirrel Print top. So Postmark doesn't do that great for me anymore, but um, the novelty prints still do well. So I got that and it sold for $21. I sold this Anthropology Wooden Ships Mohair Wool Poncho. That sold pretty quickly within a week or so for $25. This was a new Lane Bryant Black Blue Floral Ruffle Dress in a size 26. This sold very quickly within a few days for $22. And then I sold these Paige Jimmy Jimmy Distressed Shorts Cuffed, size 24, sold those for $15. I sold this LeBlanca Blue Paisley Bikini Bottom in a size 10 for $13. And then I had a couple bundles back to back, so let's open those up and see what I sold. The first one was a pair of Athleta Black White Chaturanga Leggings. And then I had a Nike Blue Essential Running Tights. They were cropped also. Cabby Linea Striped Cami Tank Top and Athleta Energy Power Up Space Dye Crop Pants. Those all sold for $80 from an offer sent by the buyer and I went ahead and accepted that. And then the next bundle was a Sundance Flannel Plaid Long Sleeve Button Up Top, an Eileen Fisher Gray Crinkle Open Cardigan Sweater, and a new Kahala Red Hawaiian Short Sleeve Shirt for Men and that sold for $60. So that was great. I sold both of those yesterday. And then the last sale I had on Poshmark was this Eileen Fisher gray alpaca bin sweater, extra small, sold for $20. I think I could have got more, but I am accepting almost every offer as long as it's not <coughs> horribly low. Sorry about that. Okay, so that is my Flippin' Friday video. I think I got through this one pretty good. Didn't take too long. Thank you for watching. Again, please subscribe if you have not done so. I'll have more videos coming out next week. I know there'll be thread up videos, so if you like those, be sure to hit that bell. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.